Salutations, stealthy squaddies. Automatic here for Automatic Games. Thanks for joining me for Season 2, Episode 9 of our XCOM 2 series. In our previous episode, Alpha Squad took to the field to hamstring an advent assault on a resistance base in Europe. We were successful in our efforts, and in the process, we were finally able to lay to rest the Berserker Queen. In this episode, we intend to infiltrate that black side in Chile, but before we get to that, we have some errands to see to around the Avenger. I'm going to allocate two engineers to clearing out this chamber. Not only will it open up the chamber to a future facility, but more pressing, it'll grant us some supplies. You see, Advent has set up rural checkpoints, and this has effectively cut our supply income in half. Now the attack in Europe, it was, for all intents and purposes, a distraction from our primary objective of making contact with the Chilean resistance cell. Now we're back on track and anticipate making contact soon. We'll go ahead and initiate the scan now. Regional contact. These findings will likely prove crucial to our ongoing efforts, Commander. Let's see. Despite an extensive study of Dr. Valen's research reports, I have yet to discover how she came to acquire such an impressive understanding of the processes involved in the editing and manipulation of alien genetic material. Snake dissection complete. And... As a result, we, we actually can make a snakeskin suit. I don't know if Leed still wants to wear one in the field. And plus, I don't know if that'll jive with the Van Dorn's mandate on uniforms. As to our next research, we're gonna get into the Berserker autopsy. This fearsome creature, long referred to as a Berserker, is clearly a genetic relation to the other mutant species we have encountered in the field. For reasons yet unknown, this particular variant is unique in that it is altogether consumed by what can only be described as blind rage, a thirst for combat, unlike any other creature we've encountered. Berserker stakes for everyone. That's... that's a general order. I have to admit, there is something exciting about working under the more intense conditions found on the Avenger. Every decision, every development is of the utmost importance. There's no room for mistakes here. I mean, I assume we can eat them, the uh, Berserker steaks. Who knows? We'll find out. Got an urgent communication coming in for you now, Commander. I had high hopes for the Resistance under your leadership, Commander. And you have outdone yourself. See, yeah, that supply income should be double. And this is all bad. Intel cost increased by 100, a faceless showing up on random missions, and Advent gaining access to poisonous rounds. Um, all bad. And we will be able to counter one of them at least. There's our supply drop, but again, we're not looking for any more distractions. We're gonna make contact with this damn cell and get to that black side ASAP. We're here for the chili. You don't have chili? Signal's coming through clear. What? Oh well, I digress. New regional contacts. Okay, so we've got reports of uh, other contacts in South Africa and Australia. We'll get there eventually. But now, it's time to move on the black side. We will assemble Bravo Squad. Of course, Bravo Squad is commanded by William Lee, codenamed Weasel bringing along the flashbang for this operation. He's joined by Joan Richards, codenamed J-Bone, bringing the med kit. And Mark Jackson, codenamed Stonewall, bringing the battle scanner. Christian Arnold, codenamed Reaper, bringing the uh, basic loadout. 
Otto Williams, codenamed Automatic, bringing the Mimic Beacon. And finally, Jared Williamson, codenamed Manzer, bringing the Frost Bomb. Bravo Squad is dressed in dark camo for this operation. Bravo, you may board when ready. Sky Ranger deployed. Squad green to deploy. Reading you five by five. Begin your descent. We have a positive confirmation on the position of a facility conducting research crucial to the Avatar project in this region. The coordinates are locked in for a tactical strike. Move to the designated position and plant the X-4 charges. Once they're armed, move to minimum safe distance and we'll turn that place into rubble. And so, it's... Good to bear in mind that the last time we went on one of these Black Sight missions, we suffered a KIA. Um, we hope to not repeat that. After all, it should just be get in, set the device, and get out. Let's hope that it plays out that way. Bravo Squad is boots on the ground. That's precisely what Weasel wants for his squad. Get in, get out, no mishaps. Certainly no casualties, so he's going to proceed with caution. The aliens may have cleaned up the design, but these monsters are no better than the ones my father dealt with. Monsters? Oh, the Archon. Yeah. I'm not just strictly speaking for Bravo Squad when I say... Close this is our first now. encounter with the Archon. Overwatch. I'm speaking for myself, too. And seeing as Weasel doesn't quite know what to expect from an Archon, he assumes it's best to avoid them altogether. To that end, we're gonna have Bravo Squad swing to the right. Stepping we're not banking on it, but we're hoping that that's the only Archon at this facility. Got it covered. And if we're to infer anything from Lily's comments, it's that the Archon is the, um, the unnatural child of the far less graceful, uh, floater. And the floaters were no big thing. We can't make that guarantee about the Archon. It could be a one-hit kill kind of alien. Moving. And frankly, Weasel's not willing to risk it. So, yeah. Stealth it is. And granted, once we once we arm the X4 explosives, uh, stealth is out the window. Uh, an alarm will be raised. But at least on the approach, Weasel wants to do everything in his power to maintain concealment. Affirmative. Moving out. In fact, I, I have to confide that it's at this point that I'm thinking that we should have researched armor some time ago. And our failure to do so opens us up to, to one-shots. Nonetheless, there's, there's nothing we can do about that now. I except exercise caution. And Weasel wants to keep his squad out of danger's way, for the most part. Who knows how long they've been keeping these storage units running down here. So his plan is this. He and Otto are going to make entry into the black site. The rest of the squad will stay outside. They'll basically be a, a supporting element. And when it comes time for extraction, the Sky Ranger will post up just above the remainder of the squad. But as both Otto and Weasel are Rangers, uh, they, they can employ a, a, a modicum of stealth. So it will fall upon them to make entry. And honestly, our approach on the right side 
thus far seems unopposed. We can only hope that that, that remains the case. So yeah, let's see. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and throw a battle scanner. And try to make sure that there's nothing in our path. And it doesn't appear that there is. So that bodes well. Otto's gonna move up as far as he can while still retaining the capability to go into Overwatch. And Weasel's gonna move up just next to this door. This is gonna be our point of entry. As to the rest of the squad, they're gonna post up just out here along this creek behind good cover. Headed there now. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, you guys watching may know more about the Archon than I do. And, uh, you know, we kind of passed the point at which I, I stopped having experience in this game a few episodes ago. So, uh, yeah. Caution is the name of the game. The fact is, I'm still a little sour over the fates of Cider, Corky, and Zombie Wolf. I like to think, I guess, that if you're a viewer and you're watching and there's a soldier named in your honor, that there's a part of you that, that hopes that that soldier will really stick it to Advent throughout the course of their service to XCOM. And I want to do everything within my power to accomplish that on your behalf. But I can't always do that. Anyhow, Weasel asks Otto to step aside and open these doors, after which point, Weasel will effect entry, hoping to gain a line of sight on the objective location. Headed out. Which he does. Menace one five, you're near the target position. And he also caught a glimpse of enemy personnel. I, I think it was an Advent officer, but I can't be sure. We will find out soon enough. All that remains for these troopers outside is to post up behind some solid cover. Uh, not this rock here, but the trees. Um, basically, positions from which they can cover the withdrawal of both Otto and Weasel. Reaper's gonna get behind this tree back here. I'm on it. There's some distance there, but he's a sniper. Otto will enter the facility and go into Overwatch. To Overwatch. As the Weasel, he's a little concerned about this doorway to his right, so he'll check that out. Clear. Moving to Overwatch. And that officer could throw a wrench in our entire plan. All he has to do is engage in a walkabout. If he starts a patrol and he spots Weasel or Otto, this whole thing goes south. But so far, the officer is holding position. Weasel's gonna move up. And, okay, so it's an officer and a trooper. And something else, something else that has armor. Um, Otto's gonna do likewise. He'll move up. I'm on it. And yet the enemies in question are still holding their positions. That's that's a good deal. Outside, everybody's found their tree. Um, which is good. We don't want these guys clumped up at all. And everyone's staying in Overwatch. Essentially just waiting for word from the inside. And what is the word inside? I, I would think that clearly Weasel can't move forward anymore. He, he's gonna switch to the other side of this aisle here. He'll uh, get in position behind these coffins or 
The capsules, rather, considering the occupants may very well still be alive. Otto's gonna take Weasel's former position. Um, and I would imagine they're opining over the fact that they're gonna have to engage these three. Uh, the only other option is to fix them. But they don't have the frost bomb and Manzer. Clearly, he's considering going inside. He has orders to remain outside, but he's also got the frost bomb. And I don't know, um... You know, I guess if we consider squad dynamics for a moment, the fact that this squad gets along so well, that there's mutual loyalty, and that Weasel's basically saying, you guys stay outside for your own safety, I'm gonna put my neck on the line and go in there and plant the device. Bearing all that in mind, I would think that Manzer's inclined to disobey orders and go inside anyway. Already there. And so he is. Yeah, he's gonna go in there, and he's gonna fix those freaks. Rolling out. It's the least he can do. And one can only assume that Weasel, upon seeing him inside there. I uh, probably can't help but grin. Scanning. And we can tell that there's other enemy elements up on the roof. In fact, one of them looked like another Archon. Alright. I suppose it's time to go loud. And I don't know if this frost bomb will affect that mech out there, but. It's worth a shot. So it's on. Yeah, up on the roof, it's two mutons. And an Archon, I think. Scanning. Outside, it's all Overwatch. Um, let's see. Moving Overwatch. Yeah, we'll we'll have Weasel go ahead and plant the device now. They're on to me. That officer and soldier have to be frustrated watching this, unable to do anything about it. Status confirmed. X4 charges are armed. Move to the extraction point for immediate evac. And now we will begin our retrograde back towards the doorway. Ask the weasel, well, there's no cover available, so screw it. He's got to move. Damn. I don't know, do those three know what's going on? Yeah, they do. They just made that all too apparent. Okay, so the Archon has come inside. This mech has just stepped in. It's taking aim at Weasel, and damn. Weasel has suffered a severe injury. Meanwhile, enemy reinforcements are inbound. This is escalating fast. That ain't good. Um... Yeah. Uh, Weasel is in bad shape. And he may not think he's getting out of here alive, but he's gonna make damn sure his squad does. So, he calls in for the Sky Ranger. And he orders Bravo to extract immediately. As you can imagine, there's a little bit of hesitation among the squad. In fact, Otto's got alternate plans. He intends to buy Weasel a little time. So he's gonna deploy the Mimic Beacon, in hopes that the attention whore, you know, provides Weasel with a chance to get out of here alive. Teachers have souls! Let's just hope that it works. Now 
Reaper, uh, being the newest member of Bravo, he's just inclined to follow orders, so he starts making a move towards the extraction zone. And you know, you can probably tell that Weasel could get out this round, but being the squad leader, he refuses to do so. He's got to be last out of the AO. Manzer uh, is going to stop short and take aim, but Weasel tells him to go. And so he does. Even so, he doesn't extract. And as to J-Bone, she's staying put too. In fact, she's going to heal Weasel. Now, of course, she could just heal once and then extract. But that's not who she is. She's going to heal him up all the way. And that will give him every chance to get out of here with the rest of the squad. But like I said, even so, he wants to be the last man out. So he'll come out and uh, post up next to this door. And here come the Advent Reinforcements. No shortage of, uh, of targets. We've got Advent here. I mean, there's no question about it. Bravo has to get out of here. It's, uh, the idea of, of sticking around and fighting. It's just futile. Jackson takes a reaction shot. No joy. But again, it, it's just like, I mean, we're just going through the motions. Okay, the Argon is focusing on the attention whore. Excellent. Teachers have souls. That's exactly what we wanted. So too is this Muton. Taking aim. Teachers have soul here. And the Mimic Beacon's gone, but it certainly served its purpose. The Advent Officer comes up and uh, he directs fire on Otto's position. And by that, of course, I mean he orders his troops to fire at Otto's position. Looks like this trooper will oblige. Luckily, it's a miss. Again. Weasel orders the troops to get the hell out of here. So at this point, yeah, since Otto's under... Oh, hell. Overwatch. Damn. <laughs> nice. Well, Otto's gonna take a parting shot. And he, he scores a hit on that Advent Trooper. Heading home. I mean, really, why not? And, and most of the other soldiers will follow suit. Might as well leave Advent with something. Finally. And hell, it'd be nice to at least score one kill. Manzer will do, do likewise. No joy. It's still moving. Nonetheless, I'm going. he's extracting. J-Bone's turn. She'll move to the extraction zone. Aim at that poor trooper. And give him what for. In fact, she scores a kill. Nice. I mean, somebody had to, right? Because again, we're, we're not walking away from, with, from this mission with a lot of experience, but at least it'll be mission accomplished. And what's more, no one died today. So back to our exit, Stonewall. He's gonna move over to the extraction zone. Let's move already. And can he acquire a target? 
Well, he could shoot an inanimate object. Why not? We're gonna go. Go with a bang. And with that, Jackson is out of here. I'm going. Who's that leave? Reaper and Weasel. Much like Jackson, Reaper's probably not gonna be able to, to, to find a target. But what he can do is toss a hand grenade at that officer hiding behind this tree. You know, occupy him with some shrapnel damage until this entire facility is blown sky high, which it most certainly will be. And though no individual soldier will be accredited with those presumed kills, it is easy to presume that most of the Advent lackeys around us now are gonna die in the uh, forthcoming explosion. Weasel scores a hit before making his egress. And how he found a target when the snipers didn't is beyond me, but no big deal. We'll take it. Menace one five, status confirmed. Next four charges detonated. Yeah, somebody died in that explosion. No way around that. But we are only accredited with one kill. And, and that's fine. The way I look at it, uh, you know, if, if that's our biggest complaint, that we, we didn't get any promotions, then we did fairly well. I mean, we accomplished what we set out to accomplish. At the beginning of the episode, I said that Weasel wanted his squad to get in, get out with no major problems. Or I said something along those lines. I'm paraphrasing, of course. Uh, well, nonetheless, that's what we did. So yeah, though I would have liked for especially Weasel to have earned a promotion, I, I guess we'll attempt to do that on the next operation that Bravo participates in. In the meantime, well done, squad. One by one, we're evening up the score, Commander. Good work out there. And so Weasel is the only one wounded. And you know, I guess the only time where I really thought we were going to lose him is, well, initially, when it had been determined that he and Otto would be making entry alone. Well, at that point, I thought, well, hell, they both could die in this op very easily. Um, but then, of course, when he was hit, I thought, well, he could still get out of here, but he's stubborn. And he is going to be the last person out, no matter what. The destruction of this facility marks an important step towards the total elimination of the Avatar Project, Commander. Your team is to be commended. So it was because of that stubbornness that I thought that the possibility still remained that Weasel could end up being KIA. Low intel. Are they calling us dumb? Eh, screw you. I don't know. We'll, we'll find some intel. Even if it means going to the black market or something, maybe there's some out there for pickup that I've kind of overlooked. Uh, I guess we'll look into it. And once again, stripping progress from the Avatar Project. That's cool by me. Okay, so... Uh, we do want to head up to the supply drop. Let's do that, and then we'll fly over to the, the former continental United States and make pickups there. Well, here we go again. Another landed UFO, and again it falls on Charlie's squad to assault it. Because Charlie's squad is uh, next in the rotation. 
so of course we will put that off for the next episode. And, um, let's see, Charlie will be taking, uh, codename Vane into the field for the first time, and I hope that that, that soldier earns a promotion. So I don't know. Um, hey, join me next time. We'll check out that UFO and continue on our way. If you like this, like this, and if you are subscribed, I will talk to you soon, friends.